Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new. My name is Jess and today we're continuing our journey in World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade. I appreciate you clicking on this video and joining me on this let's play. Alrighty, we picking up exactly where we left off as per usual. I guess we'll go do the Death Forge because it's right there and then we'll keep going with the Sons of Oranok. Or 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 um, can't remember his name right now. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll just begin working our way around the map again. How are ya? The dwarf nods. It'll be good to have the backup. We've gathered some preliminary information on what the Shadow Council is up to in there. But I'll feel better once we've been able to start taking action against them. Off with you. Everyone listens to you to you recount the events at Legion Hold, nodding. That puts our observations into perspective. We've caught glimpses of them launching infernals in the direction of the hold, but haven't been able to find much more than that. The Shadow Council has the Death Forge sealed tighter than a new keg of Thunderbrew. The first thing you'll need to do is crack some skulls so you can get in there and poke around. Start eliminating the Shadow Council guarding the entrance to See the Death Forge. Alrighty. Creepy. I did not realize how many like skulls and bone fragments are just like in the ground. Just creepy as heck. So what? There's a lot of um ore around apparently. Well, I don't know if my all my buffs are just on. I remembered three minutes before they're about to expire, so that's closer. honestly a good thing for me. It's too far away. Will you? I need to keep an eye out for the horsemen that apparently wander around as well. So we were looking for them all of the last part and never actually stumbled across them. So I'm hoping throughout our other questing they will just show I need up. To target something first. You never know. You never know. Oh, a neck piece. Ours is better, but it actually kind of looks like a quest item for a second, but sadly is not. Head down into the creepy portion. Out of range. It's too far away. How many more do we need? Three. Oh, but we do still need the summoners too, which I didn't realise. So I'll have to keep an eye out for them. I wonder if there's any in here. I went through last night and sort of went through all of my like all of my characters because I had turns out I, I was over, I had characters over like four realms and I didn't really realize that um and sort of added anything useful to my war bank war band bank um added all, like all the money any like crafting items mainly anything that could be useful potentially in the future and just deleted them after that, I was like, I had characters that were like level 30, level 40, level 10. I had some characters I'd made and literally just never used. So it's very satisfying because now my login screen's a lot cleaner. A target. Because yeah, before, oh, I think we're gonna have to come back for you. Potentially you have a name. Um, yeah, it was, it was very satisfying to clean it up. Um, and turns out, 
I'm, I mean, this is going to sound puny to most people because um, it is, but I found I had like a hundred thousand in gold across all my characters now that I've added it to my bank. And that was kind of wild to me because I have never had that much gold. Um, I've always been a bit, oh, oh my gosh. Um, I've never really had much gold, mainly because I've never, I've never prioritized getting it. Like I've just quested and like done my profession, spent money on professions, which is um not always the best move, but yeah. So seeing I actually had some money was kind of nice, especially because obviously before you couldn't. I don't think you could send stuff between rounds. I've never really tried. Maybe you could. I don't know. But um. But yeah, so that's nice. Now I feel like I'm a little bit set for the new expansion. Some money, got some, I mean, to be fair, the reagents are all going to be useful, uh, useful, useless by the time the, we're in the expansion, but I gotta have, worst case, I can just sell them, even just vendor them. So I've already filled up two tabs, which I didn't expect to do so quickly because I can't afford the third tabs. <laughs> so I'm going to definitely have to clear out at some point. What can I do for you? I wish I could have been out there with you. I've been itching to put my hammer to use, but my mission is to observe, not to kill. Now that you've punched a hole in their defenses, let's get to work on shutting down production production in the Death Forge. Safe travels. Watch your back. Wing Commander Nguyen originally sent three of us out there to keep watch over the Death Forge and to gather information. Flannis Swiftwing volunteered to try to infiltrate the Death Forge, but we haven't heard anything from him in days. I fear the worst. Flannis is a skilled scout, but if he's gotten in over his head, we have no way of knowing. Search the Death Forge for him and recover any information or items he might have collected. Off with you. Watch your back. In order for the Shadow Council to construct infernals as quickly as they have been used, they must have an area dedicated to summoning the corrupted elementals that serve as the souls for the creatures. The summoning chamber is likely to be found below ground near a pool of fouled water or lava. Locate the summoning chamber within the Death Forge and find a way to end their summoning ritual. The Moag involved in making the Infernals may carry a tool that will help disrupt the summoner's magics. Soon. Okay. That is pretty much where we were. Is it not? It's really honestly hard to tell. Because the quest is saying over here. But like... Where we were, could that get that far? Or oh, is this a way in? Down here? No, this is a tower. We're going to go back in where we were and see. Oh, there's a different chamber. I don't know what just boosted me ahead there, but not mad about it. I do think we saw the summoning ritual. Did we? So I thought he was attacking me, so I came over here. He wasn't, but oh well. I don't have a target. Death Forge Tinkerer. Death Forge Smith. Why is Death Forge Key? Okay, so no, this is not where we were before. It's too far away. Yeah, we got the elemental displacer, but now maybe we go back. Maybe we go down this way. Yes, this is where we were before. So I'm honestly just gonna drop us down. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wrong one. I don't know if I was meant to use that item on him, potentially. Oh no, maybe we just use it on, like, here. Where did it go? Elemental Displacer. There we go. 
I know what we're doing. <laughs> Mostly. Infernal Oversoul. Oh. Oh, we still need to find his pack. Which is... I don't really know where. Is that going to be down here too? Let's just have a quick um, reread of the quest and see if it makes it obvious. Yeah, he tried to infiltrate, so he must be down. Like his stuff must be down. Yeah. No, that's not the way. Go back through the other door. And hopefully find it somewhere in here. I'm wondering if we have to like go through here. Yeah, we don't have the key. Oh no, might be this way. I really do YOLO this too much sometimes, like. I think that's a lot of dudes. It should be down here. I'm out of range. Yeah, there he is. This is, this is corpse. I need to target something first. The dwarf appears to have been discovered and slain in the midst of a spy mission. The Death Forge's attendants have left the corpse in the open, perhaps as a warning to other would-be interlopers. Reclaim Flannis's pack. Sad. Alrighty, let's get out of here. Who's? Kagrosh. I don't know if we're meant to remember that name or not, but I do not. I'm guessing we're going to have to come back down here at some point with the key. That's how we'll actually shut down the Death Forge, getting the key from someone, going in there. Wrong way, wrong way. Can I stay out of combat? Well, it doesn't look like it. There's a lot of respawns. Maybe. <laughs> and literally was just like maybe we'll just kill him come on let, here we go let me fly what's on your mind did you find any sign of Flannis in the death forge safe travels Ewan shakes his head as he accepts the pack from you. I don't think Flannis realised how heavily guarded the Death Forge would be. Now that we know what's really going on there, I don't blame them. I just wish Flannis had known that when he went in. 
I can only hope there's something here that will help us shut down the Death Forge once and for all. Off with you. We can't afford to let their production continue. Have you put an end to the summoning ritual? See you soon. Well done. Disrupting the Shadow Council summoning puts us one step closer to shutting down the Death Forge. Watch your back. We've made a lot of progress against the Shadow Council's operations at the Death Forge, but if we're to truly be triumphant, we'll need to defeat the Legion's Overseer there. I found a key amongst the items in Flannis' pack. I'm certain it will prove useful in tracking down this Warbringer Razoon, who observed at sorry, you observed at Legion Hold. After you've hunted down and dealt with Warbringer Razoon, report directly to Wing Commander Nguyen and he'll know he'll want to know immediately. Safe travels. Okay. So that's back down there, right? Yeah. That'll be through that gate. So I actually didn't expect the key to be in the bag, but I'm not mad about it. It's useful. We're just going to ignore everyone again and run through to the gate and then kill whoever is still chasing us. Because I am, um, lazy. You. I'm out of range. I don't have a target. something first. Newly crafted infernal. Oh, here's the warbringer. So we'll um kill these dudes first in case he's hard. Who knows if he is or not. I need to get closer. Oops. Oh well, we pulled the guardian too. Andy. It's too far away. I need a target. Scroll of protection. Can we use both of these? No. Alrighty. Are you an elite? No. So you should be totally fine. Hopefully. I don't have a target. And we're done. I think that's back at the hold, so we're just gonna hearth back. Because that's easier than um, running our butts back out of here again, even though it's so close. <laughs> but, you know. One thing that's really exciting in the trading post this month, I saw there's a toy where you can get like the transmog do, just so you can. Um, basically use the toy and get him to spawn and then you can do transmog so that is like the one thing this month I need to get because I always want to transmog something and I never can or it's like such a pain especially when you're in chromie time so that's the plan what can I do for you what news do you bring from the death forge Keep your feet on the ground you make your report to the wing commander and hand over the captured orders defeating warbringer resume should have meant the end of our troubles with the legion but these orders outline a much larger plan than I had anticipated. I fear that more remains to be done. Be good. According to Razoon's orders, the massive infernal staging area is called Invasion Point Cataclysm, and it's nestled in the northern mountains. The only way to reach it is by using a teleporter located at Legion Hold. Certain members of the Legion host carry devices allowing them to activate the teleporters. You must capture one of these devices to win access to the teleporter. Slaughter all of the demons if you must, but you can't afford to return empty-handed. It's back over this way. I know I said we were going to work our way around the map, but I kind of am just in the mood 
to follow one quest line and try and get it done. I really want an achievement marked off in this zone because we haven't got one here. I think this is only our third, third, third or fourth part in Shadow Moon. I'm not even sure. I've mentioned this a couple times um, in terms of how I'm going to finish off because we still have Nagrand and Netherstorm to do, but we weren't able to. I'm thinking when we get super close to finishing Shadow Moon, either if it lets us, because there might be a really hard boss fight we can't do, or even if it doesn't, like if it does or if it doesn't, I think before we finish, I'm going to leave Chromie time. I need to get close. Um, so that everyone here goes back to like level 30. And then I'm going to go and work from Nagrand through Netherstorm and then target. finish in Shadow Moon. The way that um I need to get closer. We intended to do the story. So it's still gonna be a bit like disjointed. But at first. least then Shadow Moon will still be last. And I think that will work the best. It's too far away. <laughs> Cool, we got the teleporter, now where do we have to go? Oh, back to him. Alright. Thought he was going to want us to teleport from here. Yep. Still have yet to see any horsemen. So this quest might be a pain <laughs> once we get to like if that's like all we have left to do and we're just trying to track them down. I'm hoping they are just on a loop and we've just been unlucky because we've never gone the full loop to find them. But time will tell. Great to meet you. We must find a way to destroy the rest of those infernals. We've come far, but failure could still cost us everything. Safe travel. Let me see if I can find out how this works. Be good. Now that we have access to the Legion's base at Invasion Point Cataclysm, we need to figure out a way to shut down their operations there. Wildhammer Stronghold won't be safe until the Legion's presence is erased from Shadow Moon Valley. I've sent an advance party up to the Invasion Point to help you formulate a plan to destroy the Legion's supplies. Go back to Legion Hold and step into the teleporter with the green crystals above it. Flexi will meet you at your destination. Hey. Where is, which one's Legion? Oh, it's all over here, okay. Off we go then. I feel like, sh like this will be the, um, the Wildhammer Stronghold storyline, I'm pretty sure. We must be pretty close to the end because we've been literally working on that one since we started. At least in, in my, in theory, that's what I think. Hey. Let's see. Pleased to meet you. Name's Flexi. I won't bore you with formalities. We both know why we're here. Now let's get to work. You have a great day now. Best way to destroy the rest of the Legion's supplies is to use their own weapons against them. I've been working on a rig that will let you take control of one of those Fell River Sentinels below. There are a couple things I need to work out yet. For that, I'll need the manual that Dr. Guttrick keeps locked in a chest at the bottom of the ramp. He's probably, he probably won't give up the key without a fight, so you'll need to capture it. Bring the Fell River manual back to me and I'll I've do the rest. You. Dr. Guttrick. Don't have a target. I can't carry any more of those. Interesting he had two keys on him. Oh. Yeah. Alrighty, let's get out of here. Oh god, those some of those are elites. I need to be a, a bit more careful. How are you? Did you get that manual? Off and away. This is exactly what we'll need. I'll never accuse the Legion of producing anything resembling literature, but it gets the job done. Daylight's burning. 
Lexi leafs through the manual. Well, this is everything we need, but there's just one problem. Bell Reavers aren't really built to respond to remote control. We can modify one for you to use for a short time, but, you'd, but you'll have to work fast or there's no telling what might happen. I wouldn't be surprised if your little stunt with the Fell Reaver catches the attention of the Legion's lackeys either. Keep an eye out and whatever you do, don't forget to destroy as much as you can. Right. Five minutes. Okay, what do we have to do? Just kill him? No. Kill these guys? I'm out of range. Ah. 60 infernals destroyed. How do we do that? Like, why was I not paying attention to the quest? Five minutes. Surely this heaps of time, right? It's too far away. I need to target something first. Okay, but seriously, what am I meant to do? It's like sometimes I read these and I really don't pay attention. Oh. I need to get in one of them. In the modified one. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Where is it? Is it up here? Oh, remote control. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Now let's see. Where's the controls here? We should still be alright to get this done in like the time. Assuming my Fowl Reaver doesn't die. Because, um. We're nearly there. Even with my little, um. Get inside track. Okay, we only need like seven more. I just need to not die. Basically. Objective done! Cancel. I don't- yeah, okay. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Salutations! Amazing! You've managed to do what all the Griffin Riders in Wildhammer Stronghold couldn't. You've broken the back of the Burning Legion's advance and spared us from annihilation at the hands of their infernals. You have our deepest gratitude for your service. I also just saw that it's called the Fell and the Furious, which is amazing. Be seeing you. You must bring word of our success to Kurdran Ker Wildhammer immediately. His men under Wing Commander Nguyen have fought non-stop to keep Wildhammer Stronghold safe, and your return will surely boister their spirits. With the threat from the Legion out of the way, Kurdran can finally turn his attention to dealing with the forces of Illidan. Our place here is far from secure, but we've won a major victory right. this day. Okay, is that back? Yes, that is back where we were. So we will once again hearth, and then we're going to go find Orak, son of Oranok. Yay! I feel like we finally made some um, solid progress in this zone.
I don't even know if we've come in here yet. Maybe we have. Oh, the heck? Okay, we haven't because I am lost. Is it down? Yes. Goodness, you don't make it easy. Here they are. Perdran listens to your report. That is good news indeed. Mere days ago, I wouldn't have dreamt that we could break the Legion's siege on the stronghold. Not only have you halted their offensive, but you've broken the back of their war machine as well. You have the gratitude of the Wildhammer clan for your valor. Watch your back. Band of... Ooh, epic upgrade. Did we... We didn't... That wasn't an achievement? What do you mean it wasn't an achievement? Oh my gosh. Surely that ring's good though. Yep. To be fair, not that good considering... Um... This place is a maze. Um, considering what we had, we actually weren't doing too bad. I do need to empty said bags. And then, yeah. Maybe there's other side quests included in that one? I don't know. Great to meet you. I guess we'll find out later. Get rid of these. Get rid of the ones I know I've eaten. Might as well get rid of you. Get rid of you. Cool. Safe travels. Let's go find Borok. To be fair, actually, I can check with our um, BT quests. Wildhammer Stronghold, what are we missing? Yeah, we've done everything, but because we haven't done this one. Kill Barakia's the Conqueror and the Battle of the Crimson Watch. Because we haven't done those two, I guess we haven't done the achievement yet. There's also one that um, was showing for that dude who wanted the food. The main course. So, I guess we need to do those before we can actually finish. Oh, I think we've seen Borok before, actually. We have, we ran past him. And I think we actually talked to him. Borak is silent for a moment. I've been watching these Blood Elves for weeks now, trying to get a lock on where they're hidden, on where the, they have hidden the third part of the Cipher of Damnation. Thus far, I've been unsuccessful in gathering any clues. The only thing I do know is that Illidan sends an envoy from the Black Temple here once a day. This envoy is untouchable. I've shadowed him for a week, trying to figure out how to separate him from his bodyguard. Unfortunately, the bodyguard never leaves his side. I've given up... I'd have given up had I had I not noticed. He's a thistlehead. I shouldn't place it. I couldn't place it at first, but the signs are all there. Now, if we could get our hands on some blood thistle, we'd be in business. In my travels, I met a shady broken in Shatrath named Tobias. Tobias made a business of trading blood thistle to blood elves for rotten Arakoa eggs. Directly west of here, here are Arakoa ruins. Search them for an egg and head to the lower city of Shatrath. That's where you'll find Tobias. Oh my God, you can't make it easy on us, can ya? We just want to get an achievement. I do remember seeing the eggs though. Yeah. Do we just need one? Yeah, we just need one. And by not making it easy on us, I mean having to go. There is no loot. Ah, oh, I hate when they do that. Um, I mean making us go all the way to Shatrath finish this quest off. Yeah. I guess we're gonna have to try a few eggs. That explains why there's so many but we only need one. Perfect. Okay, done. Ready for turn in in Chetra City? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. We're gonna fly there. Of course, on a proper proper flight path because that'll be fastest and I will as per usual cut that out for you so you don't have to just watch me fly back and forth Off with you. alrighty we are back back in Shatrath city it's so funny how actually like um 
few times we have to come here because obviously when you're actually in the expansion I feel like you're in the main cities all the time but potentially that might be more end game kind of content time as it's honestly hard Ooh, hard to remember Tobias the Filth Gorger what a name Live another day Tobias raises an eyebrow blood thistle never heard of it are you a peacekeeper you know you'd have to tell me if you were I've got rights so long You've got a rotten Arakoa egg? Well, why didn't you say so? I think we can do business. Tobias smiles, exposing a mouthful of decay and filth. Roma, act corta. I'm you need first up. A call Hector. Life. That was life changing, excuse me for one minute. Whoa, 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 what is happening? Rock, get angry if funny ones not go to Blade's Edge and talk to Mog Rock. Okay then, back to business. Light. Must remember the light. I wasn't lying, the egg was incredible. Where did you get it from? Well, if you ever need more blood thistle, you know where I am and what I need. Here's a bundle of the stuff, take it back to your benefactor. Shield. Okay, perfect. And we can hearth back, because our hearth is not on cooldown. And then our spell will be off cooldown too. Why I haven't got them next to each other, I don't know. That would have been smart. <laughs> Alrighty, ready, ready. Back to Bortok. Have the blood thistle. Now to set the trap. Orak takes the bundle of blood thistle from you and places it to his nose. Pungent. Now take this bundle and place it at the other end of this bridge. When the envoy takes his daily rounds, he will be compelled to pick it up without his bodyguard. You see, blood elves look down upon blood thistle addicts. If any of his compatriots ever found out, all you need to do is lie and wait for him to dismiss his bodyguard. When he is alone, make your strike, kill him, and take the missive. Guessing, I don't know how we hide, but oh, I need to be at the end of the bridge. Maybe that's where I wait. I don't know. Oh no, that's where they. they I guess I just come over here. I don't know. Envoy. Blood Lord Zareth. I'm sure we could take him. Oh, there's someone over there we need to kill too for Leanth's key, so we may as well do that while we're here. The voice of Illidan. I can't hear what they're saying. No, it's not even in the in the chat log either. Weird. Basically, shoe bodyguard shoe. <laughs> so he just said he also said shoe. Perfect. Can I attack you now? Their loss is most definitely my gain. Oh. Hopefully that wasn't too soon. I need a target. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I know I shouldn't get sidetracked. But they're right there. I need to get closer. Although I don't know how many we need to kill to get it. Hopefully not many. Out of 
Whoa, the music. Intense. Love it. Love it. Love it. Dragon Hawk, but I remember I loved the Dragon Hawks when they first came into the game. I think just because they're pretty and they were new, because they weren't the best hunter pets, but I remember having one for a while purely just because they were pretty and new. Tread lightly, Draenei, beyond this bridge lies hell. Be quick about it, girl. Orak takes the missive from you and begins to read. Clever elves, this is a directive from Illidan that dictates where the cipher is to be hidden next. Apparently, they keep it moving. It does not tell us where it currently rests, if only we could deliver the missive now that we know the next location. Too bad the seal on the missive is broken, rendering it unusable. Yet? Warwick looks you up and down. This is going to be tricky, but I think I can make it work. I can disguise you as one of these Illidan blood elves. What I need first though is several pieces of their armour. It is imperative that the armour be clean, no bloodstains. We want to avoid suspicion. Bring me the gear and I'll take care of the rest of the disguise. Once the disguise is assembled, you're going to deliver the message to the Grand Commander in person. Okay. I knew doing that quest before would kick me in the butt, because now we need to go kill the same people again. Or their armour. Could have done two birds, one stone, but oh well. How much armour do we need? Six. Oh my god, cancel my heal, how do you? Easy peasy. Should we go get the rod while we're up here? I think we should. I mean, we're right here, you know. At least that one was just a very like easy one. We've got all of the rod of um, Leanth. I think that's the name now. So that's great. And this one in. One of the other medallion pieces is close by. It's far too complicated, Draenei. You wouldn't understand. 
Well done. I hope you're a very good actress. The next step in my grand plan is going to require some theatrics. Take this disguise and enter Eclipse Point. Once inside, use the disguise to cloak yourself. The Eclipsian Blood Elves will be unable to see through the disguise, thereby granting you safe passage to Grand Commander Rusk. Once you find Rusk, tell him where next to move the cipher. You're going to have to act your heart out. Play it off as if you are his superior, delivering a message from his lord. That should do it. Watch out for the dragon hawks as they can see through the disguise. Oh, I love being a blood elf. My favorite race. Well, I guess void elves technically because their alliance are my favorite race, but I do love, I do love a blood elf. Okay, but like it says here, where's the dude we need? I guess he's probably like up here, right? You'd think like in this big. There we go, Grand Commander Rusk. A new Bellore Delana. Who dares interrupt the Grand Commander? I bring word from Lord Illidan. I'm listening. A cipher fragment is to be moved. Have it delivered to Zulu Head. Oh, of course you have papers documenting this request. Perhaps you did not hear me, Rusk. I am giving you an order from Illidan himself. Listen to me, Pian. You have the we have a process for that delivery and safekeeping of the cipher fragment. The envoy delivers the missive, which is sealed by Lord Illidan. No missive, no transfer. Very well, I'll return to the Black Temple and notify Lord Illidan of your unwillingness to carry out his wishes. I suggest you make arrangements with your subordinates and let them know that you will be leaving this world soon. Rusk swallows hard. I what do you mean? Do I need to go into all the gory details? I think we are both well aware of what Lord Illidan does with those that would oppose his word. Now I must be going. Farewell, Rusk. Forever. Wait. Where are you going? You needed a transfer, correct? Let's get it done and over with, okay? Zulu head at Dragonmoor. It will be done. Please let Lord Illidan know that his orders were carried out with the full cooperation of the Eclipsian. I will dispatch Rule and the da Rule the Darkener to personally deliver the fragment. You heard me right. Rule. Ah, uh, good of you to come around, Rusk. Thank you and farewell. Well. Remember the sun well. Return to Borok. You do make a pretty blood elf, don't we? Tread lightly, Draenei. Eh? Beyond this bridge lies hell. Now all we need to do is get the cipher. Easy, right? <laughs> the cipher fragment will never reach the Lou head. We're going to ambush Rule the Darkener, his transport, before it has a chance to make the delivery. The Dragonmoor Fortress is directly east of here, across the Netherwing Fields. Somewhere between Dragonmoor Fortress and the Sanctum of the Stars is where you'll find Rule. Strike hard and strike fast. From the sound of it, this Rule is going to be tough. Keep your guard up. Return the cipher to me should you succeed. Okay. I don't know why that name is familiar. Rule? Oh, he's the one we saw walking back and forth, right? On his pretty dragon with the armor. There he is. Rule the Darkener. Come here, boy. I need to get closer. Please tell me I can kill you. This dragon kills us. We've got it. I need to target something. Okay, no, his dragon was fine. Let's go back to Warrock. And then I think we can potentially go back to his dad because we'll have all three.
You must act quickly. Finally, the cipher fragment is ours. Borak places the fragment into a box. Take this box to my father. He still resides at Oranox Farm, far to the north, above Coilscar's cistern. When all three fragments are pieced together, the ancient words will be known once more. Good luck. Tell my father that I will be home soon. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um... Weapon, wand. I don't really want a wand, but it's cool. I did not know you can move your character sideways like this. That was a total accident. Um, okay. On task, on task. We're going back to... Oranok. Or Oranok. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we have to tell him about one of his sons dying, which is awful, but... At least the other two are doing well. All of them got us what we need. Yay. Shadowmoon is a really cool zone. I actually do really like it. I think Netherstorm is my least favourite by quite prominent margin. <laughs> um, but yeah, Shadowmoon's pretty cool. It's, it's up there. The first fragment recovered. You have succeeded? When the Cypher of Damnation is reformed, we shall end this curse. Okay. Ah, uh, this one sells for more, so we'll get the braces. Oh, goodness. Oh, I attacked the wrong one. Sorry, Mr. Belbor. I meant to kill you, but. I need to talk to him. Alrighty. The second fragment recovered. Single tear rolls down Oranok's cheek. Oranok wipes the tear away and smiles at you. Thank you, I promise you, hero, a song of honour will be written in your name. Ooh, some leggings that are not nice, and a cloak, which is actually kind of okay. Um, again, neither are very good, so... Oh. Yeah, neither are very good, but we'll take that one. And the third fragment recovered. As soon as all three of the fragments of the cipher are together, the ancient words will be known. Recovery of this fragment was no doubt challenging. You must be rewarded for such heroism. The Cipher of Damnation. How many times has the spell been used in the history of our worlds? Undoubtedly, its power for destruction is unparalleled. What, we, what you must do now is take the cipher, now made whole, and read, it, read from it at the Altar of Damnation where the memory of Gul'dan stands. What you will see... Yeah, what you'll see once the words are uttered are the memories left imprinted upon the land. Stand your ground and await the coming of Cyrook. You must be victorious. This land cannot withstand another shattering. Okay, that's where the um the dudes were, I think. This might be the last part of this quest. We might get one achievement. Maybe. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go past a fragment, so we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it on the way. Do I have time for this? No, am I doing it anyway? Heck yes. See, it just makes sense to get them while we're, we're around them, but I did miss one. No, I didn't. The other one's over there. Where's the last one? Oh, I'm not standing in the right place. My bad. This thunder is terrifying. Um, we need to be here, right? Altar of Damnation. Can we go away? Mr. Enraged Fire Spirit. Oops, that was the wrong spell. I don't have a target. Ah. I don't like, I don't like. <laughs> He's 
silent, the shattering is soon to come. Please don't kill me. Be a witness to the undeniable power of our dark master. With this gift, I shall raise this land and reform it. Oh my god. Watch, see the ground shatter before us. Watch as the energy flows. It will feed our armies. We will never be without power. I have secured our future bask in my glory. Can we even kill this dude? I we're going to find out. It is done. It's huge. Um... Do I just go and kill him? I mean, he's orange. He's not red. Currently. Can I kill him? No. Is something still going on? No. Oh. Oranok. We will fight when you are ready. Oh, and his boys. I'm ready, Ornok. Let us destroy Cyrok and free the elements. We will set the elements free of the grass by force. Where are you going? I'm out of range. So confused. Okay, here he comes. Yeah, he hurts. Good thing we had our elemental out. Oh my gosh, he interrupted my heal. Don't you dare. Don't you I need dare. To get yes. Done! Kill them! It's too Oh, we can away. mine them. Just can't see a thing. Surely mining him we would have got more than crystalline fragments. What do you mean? Earth Mender Torlock. What do you need? Is it done? For the you know, horde. you dudes could have helped out too, just a little bit. Earth Mender Torlock takes the Cypher of Damnation from you. You have done as the elements asked. For that, we are grateful. While you will be rewarded, trouble still looms. The spirits of fire are in turmoil. A claim has been made. The Cypher of Damnation is known by another. It is cryptic, I know, but that is all that the spirits would have me know. That and this symbol. Earth Mender Torlock turns around and points to the sky. What could it mean? Okay, we don't want a staff. I think this is better than... Yeah, it's better than what we have, so we'll get the... That one. Be safe. Oh! <gasps> Cypher of Damnation done! That makes sense. Whoa! What is going on with everyone? We have only one request. Of these to the heroes that made this possible. Of what? Cool. Hi, dudes. Okay, so we did get one achievement done. That's amazing. We have mail from Cadgar. What mail do we have from Cadgar? Whoa. That doesn't look great. What the heck is that? A letter from Shatra City. You have received a letter from Cadgar. 
what does it say? Where did it go? Yeah. The Cypher of Damnation is indeed a powerful incantation. Ancient and chaotic, the Cypher itself has been responsible for many tragedies in the history of our worlds. That is to say, it is not unique to Draenor. The burning symbol you saw was the Mark of Kalthas. His knowledge of the ancient words explains much. Your discovery has roused the Nauru. Dahl has requested your presence in Shatrash City. Should you choose to come, seek me out at this Terrace of Light. Humbly yours, Hadgar. Humbly yours. Why is he so wholesome? I love Kadgar. Um, okay, so we finally got an achievement ticked off the list. We surely are close with what we are close with one hammer stronghold. We checked. We don't have too much more in terms of quests to do. Um, so we will hopefully make some good progress in the next one. Because, oh, I do that every time it's so weird um that is where we're going to finish up for today so if you made it to the end of this video thank you so so much i really appreciate your support and would love if you could give this video a thumbs up i upload videos every monday wednesday and friday and lately the occasional saturday so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next part of our journey i'll see you all very soon bye guys